take two. Hi guys, Callie here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It me. I'm back. Um, I did go on vacation. If you can tell, maybe you can't. I don't really, I tan, but not really that fast um, because redhead. So yeah, I don't know. I just want to do a sit down chit chat video with you guys today and just talk because <sighs> I kind of had like a revelation, realization, something going on in my brain recently. And I don't know why I even want to talk about this, but I just want to talk about, um, yeah, I don't even know where to begin. So I feel like <laughs> it's so hard for people to, and I was just thinking the other day how hard it is for people like on the internet to admit that they're wrong and how everyone, I feel like everyone thinks they know everything. I can't stand that kind of attitude where they think they know everything, that they're better than you and smarter, whatever. I feel like I've been getting that vibe from the internet a lot lately, so I have not been as active. But I wanted to say that I'm, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was looking through a lot of my old videos and, you know, I have videos that I just don't agree with anymore. Um, I used to think, you know, being vegan was the only way to help my skin. I was wrong. I used to think that silicone really broke out my skin. Recently found out I was wrong about then. I'm wrong about that then. I just feel like I've tried so many different things. I was wrong about so many different things. So I just want to apologize and say that I am sorry. Um, you know, I just feel like everyone's acne is so different. And maybe, you know, one of those things or two of those things that I just mentioned do work for you. There's a, there's a ton of things. Like, you know, I used to be all natural, gluten-free, dairy-free anything you can imagine. Um, but yeah, again, everyone's skin is different. Different things work for different people. So I'm not like shutting that down or anything like that. All that I'm saying is I think back then, you know, when my acne was freaking out, when I was trying to figure it out, I would try a new product. And then a couple weeks later be like, oh, this is breaking me out. So it must be the silicone. And then I would, you know, ban all silicones and then make a video saying silicones break me out and now you know I don't feel like that anymore I realize a lot of my products do have dimethicone in it and my skin actually as you can see <laughs> looks pretty good so yeah um I just feel like I used to try to find an answer in everything before I used to want a solution so bad I wanted to pinpoint things and be like this is why my skin is breaking out. It's not me, it's this product, it's this food, it's this thing. Of course, everyone wants an answer, but I think I was like cutting so many different things out and searching for an answer so much that I was actually in turn stressing myself out and breaking out more and I could never clear my skin because I was just stressed out about all these different things that I read online and then had an experience with and then shared with you guys. So I've said it before and I will say it again. Always, 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 Listen to your body. Make sure you're doing your own research. Everyone's skin is different. Um, but I just, I recently realized, you know, a lot of things I used to do, I don't, uh, or used to say, I don't really agree with that much anymore. And that's okay because people change. Nobody should ever expect you to stay the same, especially when, if I made these videos years ago, my early 20s to mid 20s. You're always changing, growing, and evolving, and if you're not, then something's wrong. Um, and with change, people aren't always gonna like you, and that's okay too. Um, you might grow out of some relationship, relationships and grow into some new ones. I don't even know where I'm going with this. This is getting like real spiritual and real deep real fast, but um, you guys, you get what I'm saying. So yeah, I don't know, I just, I, I felt like I needed to come on here and say something because I was looking at older videos and it, I would call out like certain ingredients and certain foods and certain all these different things and um, I just I don't feel that exact same way anymore. I know, you know, of course I still feel like um, some very, very fragrant products can irritate my skin and I still feel like I prefer things to be natural, um, but I do really like the science part in skincare now, and I do think that, um, you know, acids are really good for my skin, whereas before I might not have said that. I don't know. I don't know. What am I even trying to do with this video? Who knows? Um, yeah. 
I guess that what I am trying to say here is just that, you know, before, again, when my skin was freaking out, I would just stress out constantly about it and try to blame it on something or something or someone or whatever, some product, some ingredient, anything I could Google, anything I could look up. I was like, that must be it. I used that. I ate that. This must be it. I worked out. I sweated. This must be, you know what I mean? I would think it was every single thing. And then now I've just come to a place where, look, I break out and you know what? I still love and accept myself. And now I don't care as much anymore. And <laughs> I really don't. Um, I don't freak out like I used to. And I just kind of am like, it's a pimple, it will heal, it will pass, we'll get through this fam. Um, and I'm not really trying to fix myself anymore because I'm not broken and you're not broken either. So yeah, that's a, that's a good thing to say. Um, I think I've come to more of a place of self-acceptance and I'm not trying to pinpoint it on a bunch of random things anymore and now I'm more realizing that it does have a lot to do with my um, emotions, specifically stress and when I'm feeling anxious, I definitely break out and you know that is a hormone cortisol so technically it's like a hormonal thing um, also around my period. So for me, I do think it is hormones, I do think it is also very largely products um, but yeah, I don't know. I just felt like making a video and talking to you guys about this because I'm sure you've gone through things too where you thought a certain product was breaking out or a certain ingredient or a certain food and then you go back years later or even months later and start using or trying it again and you're like, wow, it's actually fine. It's actually not breaking me out. And if you haven't done that, then congratulations, do you want a cookie? <laughs> because I feel like most of us have tried cutting out so many different things and either thought we saw a difference or saw no difference um, or saw a difference for a week and then it came back. So yeah, I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to this. And that is all I have for today. I guess it's gonna be a short video. I don't really have much more to say. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this very, very, very short video talk. Uh, last words of thought. Don't search forever for an answer for your, to clear your skin, thinking that clear skin will make you happy because happiness isn't gonna just come with clear skin. You're still gonna have all the same feelings and anxieties, at least for a while. Happiness comes from the inside. It comes from accepting yourself and loving yourself. I know that sounds so cheesy, but it's so true. So um, work on that, even when your skin is blemished and scarred and all that stuff because even though it is, imperfections are what make us human. They're what make us real. They're what make us unique and awesome. And yeah, just work on that. So goodbye guys, that's all I have for now. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe below and I will see you next time. All right.